everyone. Welcome to another session of Mommy Tayo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is calculating the present value of a deferred annuity. And of course, identifying its deferral period. Remember that deferred annuity is an annuity whose first payment will start at some future date. And here is the formula. PV equals R multiplied by 1 minus quantity 1 plus I raised to negative N divided by I times 1 plus I raised to negative D. D here is new. This is the number of deferral period. PV is still the present value. R is still the periodic payment. I is still R divided by M. And N is still MT. M times T. Let's take example 1. What is the present value of an annuity whose sequence of 15 annual payments of 2000 at a rate of 5% with the first one due at the end of 5 years? Let us identify first the D. Take note that D here is of course the number of deferral period. So you miss how many payments. It says here 15 annual payments. So you will be paying 2000 for 15 years. Now, the question here is, what is your D? So your first payment will start at the end of five, year, five years, meaning you miss four payments. So that is what we call the deferral period. You miss four payments, that is the deferral period. Okay, number of deferral periods. Now, our R is, of course, 2,000. Our M here is equal to 1 because it's annual. And then our T is equal to 15. Our I is R divided by M, but our R is 0 0.05. So therefore, I equals 0 0.05 divided by 1. So I is equal to 0 0.05. We are now ready to... Use this in the formula to substitute. This is the formula. So we have PV equals R 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N divided by I times 1 plus I raised to negative D. Okay. Negative D. D equals 4. Okay. So this is PV equals 2,000 multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to negative n. Your n is n is empty. So we have n is equal to 1 times 15. So n equals 15. 15 Divided by 0 0.05. Okay. Multiply it, of course, by... One plus 0 0.05 raised to negative 4. Okay. Your D is 4. So, therefore... PV is equivalent to 2,000... 1 minus 1 1.05 divided by 0 0.05. Take note that this one has negative 15 exponent. 1.05 raised to negative 4. How do you calculate this? You press 1 minus 1.05 raised to negative 15 divided by 0 0.05 equals times 1.05 raised to negative 4 equals times 20,000 and the present value here is equivalent to 17,078.7 Okay, example number 2 Charmy borrowed 50,000 with an interest rate of 8% compounded semi-annually She agreed to pay her obligations by paying a sequence of 10 semi-annual payments the first being due at the end of five years how much is the semi-annual payments okay so we are looking for the r here let us identify first the d number of deferral periods take note that this one is 10 semi-annual payments when we say 10 semi-annual payments our n is already 10 
Okay? Now, what is our deferral period? Take note that the first payment will be at the end of five years. So, how many payments did she miss? Meaning, this one is five years, semi-annual, so we have nine. For four years, we have two. Four times two, eight. And then one more. Because at the end of five years, she will be paying the first. How much is that? The first R. Okay? So, therefore, our D here is equivalent to nine. Okay. Let us try to identify now the R. That is 0 0.08. And that is, what is our M here? Our M is 2. So, therefore, our I is equivalent to 0 0.08 divided by 2. I is equivalent to 0 0.04. So, are we complete? So, let's try it. PV is equal to R. One minus one plus I raised to negative n divided by I. One plus I. This is one plus I. Our D is nine. One plus I raised to negative D. Okay. By the way, what is this fifty thousand? This fifty thousand is of course the PV. Okay. So this is fifty thousand. Is equal to R. One. What is our R? That's unknown, of course. One minus one plus zero point zero four. Raised to negative ten. Divided by zero point zero four. Times. Times what? Times. 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to negative 9. Okay. So, this is 50,000 equals R 1 minus 1.04 raised to negative 10 divided by 0 0.04 times 1 point zero four raised to negative nine okay so how are you going to solve for the r you divide both by one minus one point zero four divided by zero point zero four this one is negative ten one point zero four raised to negative nine okay you divide both sides so this will be cancelled now this is 1 minus 1.04 raised to negative 10 divided by 0 0.04 times 1 1.04 1.04 1.04 raised to negative 9 okay so our i here you just press this one 50,000 divided by open parenthesis 2 2 open parenthesis 1 minus 1.04 raised to negative 10, close, divided by 0 0.04 times 1.04, close, equals. You will be getting there 8,774.07. Okay. Example number 3. Camilla bailed a loan from a bank that gave her an option to pay 20000 monthly for two years. The first payment is due after four months. How much is the present value of the loan if the interest is 10% converted monthly? Okay, so we are asked to find the PV. Our D is, of course, it says here 20000 monthly. So therefore, if the first payment is due after four months, how many payments did she miss? She missed how many? She missed three months. So our deferral period is three. Okay. So our R is 20,000. And then our T is two years. 
our M is monthly 12. Our R is 10%. So this is 0 0.10. Our I therefore is equal to 0.10 divided by 12. Since we cannot get an exact value for 0.10 divided by 12, we will be using this one, 0.10 divided by 12. So that our answer will be, of course, the exact amount. Okay. So what else? Our N is empty. So that will be 12 times 2. It's N equals 24. Okay. So we are now ready to substitute this. This is PV equals R 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N divided by I 1 plus I raised to negative D. Okay, PV is equivalent to let's move it here. PV is equivalent to 20,000 1 minus 1 plus 0 point no, that one is point 0.10. Point 0.10 divided by 12. Okay. So, raised to negative 24. Okay. That's how you do it. That one. Divided by point 0.10 divided by 12. Okay. And then multiply it by, of course, 1 plus 0 0.10 divided by 12 raised to negative. What is our D there? Our D is 3. Okay. So, this is PV equals, you just press this one. 1 minus open parenthesis. 1 plus open parenthesis. Point point 0.10 divided by 12, close parenthesis, raised to negative 24, close, divided by, open parenthesis, point 0.10 divided by 12, close, equals. Multiply it by 1, open parenthesis, 1, plus, Open parenthesis again, point 0.10 divided by 12, close parenthesis, raised to negative 3, close parenthesis, equals. And then multiply it by 20,000. You will be getting there 422,759.78. 